Ah, French champagne. Yeah, have you seen either of these movies before you recommended uh, them? I have seen it... What Happens in Vegas now three times. <laughs> Get out of here. What? How, yeah. how has that even happened? How have you allowed yourself to watch that movie three times? I think because it is so forgettable that I just end up forgetting how bad it is. <laughs> right. And I'm like, I'll throw this on for like a fun romp. Like, you know, I throw on like... You know, Ashton Kutcher's in No Strings Attached or Friends with Benefits, like one of those movies with yeah. um, what's her face? Uh, Mila. Or, or no, Mila is uh, no. with Justin Timberlake. The, he is right. with Pad, Padme. Oh, Natalie Portman. Uh, Natalie yeah, Portman, yeah, thank yeah. you. And like that's a movie, again, I think it's one that I would throw on and be like, oh, I always forget how bad it is. But I still throw I still throw them on, and that's why. Well, because this one, you're like, okay, okay, Ashton Kutcher, like he he's good at what he does, and yeah, Cameron yeah. Diaz, she's she's great, and we oh look at that, we have Rob Corddry, he's funny, okay, ooh, and we have uh, Zach Lake Galifianakis, like oh, Bell is there, like oh. Lake Bell, uh, Lake yeah, Bell? like Bell's sure. fun. So it's it's yeah. a cast that, with material, should be producing something watchable and queen latifah <laughs> and queen latifah's there right, thank yeah, god that's... for queen latifah in this thank movie you. by the way thank <laughs> god for queen great. latifah <laughs> yeah and, and dennis uh the judge whatever dennis, oh, dennis yeah. miller dennis yeah. miller. we'll talk about him later but I, I loved dennis miller i could watch uh, that scene a yeah. hundred times yeah yeah I just, it's, yeah it's a movie where they try to like shove in some kind of i don't know moral is that like is there supposed to be like don't oh. treat your kids like garbage and like i think it i think it's well. like <laughs> i think the moral is like never give up like uh, improving yourself never 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 like feel like you're locked into where you are right now i think i guess so i it's i think like, i think it's if you're forced to be around the same person long enough you yeah. can love anybody mm. you get married yeah yeah. yeah 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 it's essentially oh, like, like it's just like don't be too tight don't be too loose be just be be mild porridge in the middle yeah That's... and also can someone tell me how old ashton kutcher like how old is this person supposed to be and and her i guess but how old are they supposed to be i i, I would imagine kutcher is supposed to be like young 30s yeah. oh my god because there's a guess? line that says it's time to cut the cord and that is just not good yeah. if he's i thought even if he was like above the age of 24 then we yeah. like, there's a bigger problem in this movie he's, and it's he's that, definitely like, supposed to be that older than that. i don't know yeah i think i think the issue is is exactly that yeah i think it's that like he's gone he's gone past the point of relying on on daddy for yeah for his work and needs to so. um, what i was wondering too was how much is his dad fucking paying him for that job because his apartment is, yo, is yeah. a pigsty <laughs> but for new york that place yeah, is huge dope. yeah she yeah. cameron diaz walks in and she's like Okay, that's fine. I could live yeah. here. It's like, yeah, it's a big <laughs> ass place on the top floor of this building. It next to Brooklyn Bridge with exposed brick walls and, yeah. and like a cool bar set up. And this this movie and a misses bed. a lot of and a Murphy bed. This mi movie misses a lot of uh, opportunities to opportunities to be funny in in situations like a situational comedy should be. And yeah. having him live in a like tiny bachelor unit that it, like is ba a bathroom and barely a kitchen and then like enough for a sofa. That's where the comedy comes. That from would have made movie. so much more sense. Yeah. Oh, it would have been much better. But instead, yeah. they went the route of like, let's just be as hostile to one another as possible because that's funny, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. not. It turns out it's just not. And and hostile in ways that are completely <laughs> fucked. I have to. I, I just like. I don't. I don't know. It's like, look, if it's a first draft and you're like, yeah, maybe he, you know, he puts his hand down his pants and he rubs it in her popcorn. Like, that <laughs> is a seriously problematic thing to do to someone. That's well, really also, also, I know that I know that guys can be gross sometimes, but I've never, ever wanted to eat popcorn out of my own sweaty boxers. No. Like, that's that crosses every line in the book. Yeah. For, for me, the, not even for like the person that I'm trying to offend. This this whole movie portrays men as like dumb apes who who are just like like gross like yeah like haha like look at the girl. Well, what about that the timeless scene, uh, mm. the the comedic cornerstone of this film uh, when he comes in to his his couple's therapy yeah, and he pretends say. like she's beaten him up. I, I just laughed, you know. Yeah. 
I was like, that "What? Made... The spousal abuse joke made the uh, made the cut? They had yeah. no other material they could work in. That they were like, let's do this." Yeah, and like it definitely like it does portray men like that. And then on the flip side, it's like, oh, and this woman is just like a stuck up bitch mm-hmm. who's shrill and awful, and like no one could ever love her. So like it's it's like the two most lazy tropes you could yep. possibly yeah. think of for like gender dynamics, and they were like, check done so funny right <laughs> and, and how can we sneak our clear homophobe like just latent sneaking homophobia oh, into as many scenes as possible here the whole thing that first scene in the hotel room is brutal <laughs> when they're like gay. oh no they're gay they're, he's, because he has a pink boa she's like yeah. oh these people are gay and they're like oh good that means we're safe that, that means and they're then, not coming to attack us in our hotel room also, is oh. that how you would react if so, like it's just it's so over the top and i like i literally wrote down i was like that's not like that's not how people would react if a stranger was in their room like at least that's not how i would react whether i was in the yeah. shower or not i'm gonna just maybe assume that was an honest mistake but that's not funny it's only funny if you scream for like upwards of two minutes straight oh wasn't there another moment where someone was kind of hinting at Cameron Diaz or something about her being gay, and she was like, "No, yeah. no, 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 uh, no, no, no." She, no. she uh, I think maybe that no, it was her. It was her with Chong, Chong, yeah. whatever her Ch- name was. Chong, yeah. Chong. No, well, yeah, the coworker. Okay. The yeah. boss calls her Chonger because he's okay. a horrible asshole. Because he's a douche. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She. So Chong says because I eat girls like you for breakfast or something to Cameron yeah. Diaz, and Cameron Diaz is like, "Oh, you eat girls," and Chong's like. Oh no 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 yeah and then with the other friend too he's like oh this is just my lesbian sister who loves to talk about softball and you're like again so lazy stereotypes and then when the judge has his when he has this great line it's not the gays that are ruining marriage it's you people that was like I thought, like a pro though, like a pro for the for the sure, but I a like little bit, and then they ruined it with the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah, it was very 2008. Let's uh, leave it there. Well, I'm glad you brought up the judge because this is something that needs to be addressed in terms of the story <laughs> of this movie. That was as outlandish as anything that I saw in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which is that. Uh, so the premise, very quickly, of them both sort of co-winning this jackpot in Vegas after they got married drunkenly the night before. And so they want to, they go to this judge about how they're going to, they each want it or whatever. This movie's really about greed. They literally finish and end on money, mm-hmm. also, which is lame. But yes. they go to the judge, and the judge decrees that they shall live together for six months and they must try and have a happy marriage. Otherwise, no one gets the money, which is a level of of godlike power, of kingly <laughs> power that no, you can't make people live together. You can't you can't say you must try this marriage. It's it's it was completely insane, and that's the whole premise of the movie. It's yeah, but totally the movie. bonkers. But but. Is a judge allowed to refuse a divorce request? Like, is a judge allowed to put in certain stipulations to say you must meet these require- requirements before I allow you to get divorced? Because um, you have to, like, apply and, like, go to court and, and like, pay for it. Like, it's a, whole, it's a whole process. You can't just say we we're divorced and now it's done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, there are rules in place. Like, I believe you have to be separated for two years if it isn't anything like adultery or... Like there's other like rules that you you can't break. Like if someone is abusive, then you can divorce right away. But I think if everything is fine and it's amicable, you still have to be separated for a period of time to prove that you no longer want to be together. I could be wrong. Yeah. I've never. No, you're you have to separate but... for like at least a year for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it then you can divorce like a long after time. That. I think well, that the ninth the graders, the, the, the ninth graders that wrote this film are are ecstatic that we're talking about their plot device this long. <laughs> Great. Well. You Charlie, got him. Yeah. Charlie, Rebecca, congratulations. What did he put in her smoothie that made her go a little nuts? <laughs> I think it was I just thought it was straight up be speed. laxatives. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. I thought it was laxatives, but oh, I, I, think that. That, I think it was like caffeine pills or something. When he. I, oh. What? And I've watched this twice before. Oh, go ahead. Explain it. 
Well, it was oh. supposed to, they talked about, they were trying, that was a point in the movie when they, they realize, as you say, Aaron, the like, the caveat of like, if, if one of them commits adultery, then they can break off the marriage and they'll get all the money. And so they start trying to set each other up in these situations. And that was probably one of the better parts of the movie. The sure. whole like party sequence is like, it's yeah. dumb, but at least it was kind of like fun. Like I was at least going, this is kind of a fun scene. Um, well, except for the fact that that her it's her plan to send a bunch of women to the house yeah. to seduce him so that he'll so that she can catch him cheating on her but then as soon as he brings attractive men into the house she suddenly goes in the hunt for a man and they ignore and her gets shut, and they ignore her and she feels rejected and gets shut down but that seems backwards to me yeah that seems like a it big is. flaw right yeah okay. it is yes you are yeah, correct you're correct. It's so anyway, almost they, as if yeah. no thought went into this movie <laughs> yeah. at all. It's like I guess it's a lot of like, well, I guess this can happen. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, that's yeah, fine. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess that could happen. Sure. Like even yeah. like I made that actual note where like near the end of the movie, there's a arbitrary thing about about trying to make each other late for their for their marriage, you know, counseling session, yeah. and so he like steals her wallet and then mm. she's in a cab she's out of money so she's <laughs> stuck and then she she shows him her boob to keep driving yeah. and then there's traffic and then he's on a skateboard and then she gets out and she has some money now and she buys some oranges or apples and she throws apples at him and i'm like at this point sure oh well, yeah that can happen yeah yep. and then she has apples sure. whatever what the fuck you want just keep doing keep, keep doing shit yeah yeah and but, the only reason we're supposed to care about these people in this movie is because they're hot. Like that's their only redeeming yes. quality is the fact that they're though. attractive. Yeah, very so they're hot. Like you care, Everyone's, right? Because you know they're gonna hook up. Yeah. Very hot in this. Uh, even Rob Corddry. I mean, you know, especially Rob Corddry. No, they get like progressively Rob hotter Cordry. too. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, for some reason, Ashton loses all of his like terrible ch- man-child clothing by the end of it and has this like perfectly tailored suit that he definitely couldn't afford. And you're like, what? <laughs> the best part, the best part at the end when she comes down and she's in her evening dress with her hair done and he's at the bar and she, as she says, oh, I guess you do look pretty good when you, when you, you know, you you're clean up. up, when you, you clean up well. And his hair is just slicked back with like water. It looks like <laughs> his suit is not well fitting. It's kind of like a skew at the call. I don't know what they were going for with this shot, but it didn't work. I mean, I gotta disagree a bit. The Kutch looks pretty great in this movie. Yeah, you look dapper as This is pretty. This is pretty. I liked pretty... him before that scene. I thought he was a hunk with his with his flowing late two thousands locks. But... Well, because he looks just like you, Sean. Yeah. He's got the casual wear. You the, do have a bit the of the kutch locks. going on, Sean. Thank you. This See, is and a... what's funny about that comment is that I've been told by people that Sean looks like Toby Maguire. <laughs> Which, Which, yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. Toby yeah. Maguire in, in Fear and Loathing in Las, in Las Vegas, Vegas is <laughs> yeah. identical to my uh, driver's license from 16. <laughs> It's... Yeah, except you don't have a skullet. Well, <laughs> skullet. Oh my <laughs> barf. <laughs> the citizen gain of the week is 